Hey guys, Harv here, with Bill Kerman, who is currently standing on all that is left of his interplanetary stage. The interplanetary stage that is of the ship Shoot for the Planet Mark 1 that has brought him and his lander here onto the surface of EVE. Because today, in the Kerbal Space Program, we are going to try and assess what it takes to actually get back into EVA orbit, if that's the correct word for it. EVE orbit? EVE, EVA orbit? EVE, I don't know. EVE orbit. This is the planetary lander which we've been using recurringly throughout uh, the videos on this channel. Pretty standard, pretty good, it's pretty efficient and it's fairly good at the job it performs. Unfortunately, we're on EVE currently. So, that raises a number of problems. First of all, it has a much thicker and more dense atmosphere. Now, thicker and more dense, you might think those two are the same thing. Actually, they're not. By thickness, I don't know if this is the technical term for it, or technical definition, I'm referring to how high the altitude, um, what the altitude of the top of the atmosphere is. How high up does the atmosphere go? On Kerbin, it's 69.4 kilometers or something like that. On Eve, it's something like 90 kilometers. So for this poor little ship that, as we can see, is ascending fairly slowly, that's an awful lot of atmosphere it's got to push its way through before it can actually even think about getting into orbit. And the density of Eve's atmosphere is astronomically high. I don't know, if we say Kerbin is 1, Eve is probably 1.5, which doesn't sound that much more, but it's big. It's a big, big difference. Our first three tanks of our ascent stage have run out already, and surprisingly we're actually able to continue with the orbital engine, the LV-909. I'm actually fairly surprised that can push us this way, that it can overcome the gravity and atmosphere. I mean, if you look at the altitude, we're nearly, we're just past 8,000 meters, and our needle has not moved off of the bottom of the density scale. Coming up to 10,000, will we get to 10,000? Yes, we will, but that's it. 10,600, barely. 10,600 meters, that's how high we make it, with the landing craft that's so capable of bringing us getting us into orbit and rendezvousing with us, even, you know, on lathe, which is an atmospheric moon. Now, luckily for Bill Kerman, there's actually a very high chance that he'll survive this, which you may think, oh no, he's certainly dead, but the atmosphere is so thick that it slows him down enough for his fuel tanks to actually add, uh, to act as a cushion for him. This proves that we're going to have to design something very ingenuitive to be able to bring a man back from EVE. Just a short video today, wanting to post this. The next video will be Kuroshi 209's test pilot ship thingy majobi. If you liked this video, then you can indeed like this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.